Diary of a Wimpy Kid is one of the most successful children's book series of all time. Created by our Lord and Savior Jeff Kinney, today I'm going to be telling you useless facts about it that you probably and hopefully didn't know. The first ever Diary of a Wimpy Kid book was created on April 1, 2007, older than the average Fortnite player. It sold for $13.95. Of course, now they're probably a lot more expensive. The original Diary of a Wimpy Kid draft was made in 8 years and had over 1,300 pages according to Jeff. I envision it as like a 1,300 or 1,400 page book, but I found that that's not practical in the publishing world. The first time Diary of Wimpy Kid was shown to the world was in a website called funbrain.com where they published daily pages of the book. In Hard Rock, Greg talks about how he used to sell paintings to his relatives and envisioned a future where people used art as a currency. Seems quite familiar if you ask me. Before Jeff Kinney made Diary of Wimpy Kid, he was actually working on an online RPG called Pop Tropica. And even before that, Jeff made a comic strip called Igdoof, which ran on his college campus for a few years. Jeff tried to get Igdoof published in the newspapers, but he was ultimately rejected. In the scene in the very first Diary of Wimpy Kid movie where Greg Heffley throws a football at Rowley while he's going down the hill, they didn't actually throw anything and the ball was added in post-production. Jeff Kinney has a brother called Scott Kinney, who produced one of the songs in the Diary of a Wimpy Kid movie called Joshy Says. Here, I'll let you listen to it. It honestly sounds like some weird cult music. Screw Joshy. All my homies hate Joshy. Currently, there is another Roderick Rose movie in the making, which will probably serve as a sequel to the animated adaptation of the series made in 2021. Jeff Kinney has also stated that he is going to make animated features on Disney Plus of every book. Boy, I sure can't wait to rank all of those for a future video. Jeff Kinney originally planned on making Wimpy Kid for adults, but eventually changed it after he was convinced by a publisher. In page 58 in Cabin Fever, Rowley closes his mouth for the first time ever in the whole Wimpy Kid series. Pretty weird how the first time we see Rowley closing his mouth is him kissing an old lady. Jeff Kinney stated in an interview that he noticed that the audience always rooted for Rowley during the movies, which gave him the idea of making Rowley Jefferson journals. The entire Wimpy Kid series takes place over the course of four years. If you're still not convinced, I spent three hours making this timeline, which is cover coded and represents the whole series according to the months in the book. As you can see, the longest book is the first Diary of Wimpy Kid book, and the white spaces represent how Greg Huffley did write in these months. In the 14th book, Wrecking ball, as they were about to destroy Greg's house, Roderick said that he was planning on recording a music video when the wrecking ball collides with the walls, which is a direct reference to the Miley Cyrus music video, which is also called Wrecking Ball. In 2020, we got the first ever sneak peek of the new Diary of Wimpy Kid movie on Disney+. Plus. The sad thing about this though is that the scene was cut entirely from the movie, and don't even get me started on the new movie, I think it was mediocre at best. Throughout the entire book series, there is never a single book cover where Greg Heffley could be seen smiling aside from one, which is this cover from the do-it-yourself book. In the third wheel, Greg Heffley lies by saying he remembers being in his mother's stomach as a fetus, which is impossible and also extremely stupid. I'm kind of retarded. Congratulations, Greg Heffley. You You've played yourself. The Long Haul was originally going to be called The Way Way Back, but Jeff Kinney scrapped it because there was already a movie with the same name. My second image, I have Greg in the way way back of the minivan. In fact, there's a movie out called The Way Way Back, and if that wasn't out, I may have used that as my as my title. Jeff Kinney has actually made multiple cameos in the Diary of Wimpy Kid movies. He's in the church scene in Roger Rules, plays the voice actor for Holly Hill's dad, and made another appearance in the long haul over here in Player Expo. In Big Shot, the American flag on pages 11 to 16 were actually replaced with British flags in the British version of the book. And same goes for other versions. I checked mine and unfortunately it wasn't really different. The Ugly Truth was originally going to be titled Rowley's Revenge, and the original cover was supposed to show Rowley stomping on Greg coming out of a sewer. This is not right, this is not cool. Honestly, this isn't a bad idea for a book. I actually hope to see this in the future. Anyways, back to the video. In Hard Rock, there are a total of 104 hidden easter eggs in the book. There was actually a contest made on the Wimpy Kid website for those who could find the most eggs. So far, I've only found one egg just by reading it, which is this one under the mailbox on page 83. In Avengers Age of Ultron, Hawkeye's kids are seen reading Roger Cruz and what seems to be Long Haul. Throughout the entire Wimpy Kid series, every book has consistently ended in page 217. This also includes the Rowley spin-off books, but the only book that doesn't end in page 217 is the Do-It-Yourself book. In 2012, Jeff Kenny stated that he was working on a 30-minute animated film based on Cabin Fever. Uh, but I'm hoping to make an animated holiday special, so I think the next life for Greg Heffley is in animation. However, the film was scrapped and no footage of the film has ever resurfaced. So at this point, that movie is probably lost media. If anyone manages to find footage of the Lost Cabin Fever movie, then I will personally shout you out and livestream myself eating a banana. Anyways, according to Jeff Kinney, it took him over 10 days to write the very first line of Big Shot.
Yeah, yeah, that's it. In the very first Wimpy Kid movie, at the very end, Greg Halfway takes the fall for Rowley and says he ate the cheese when the teenagers made him do the... Uh, you know. However, in the book, this doesn't happen at all. <clears throat> Throughout Double Down, there are a bunch of references to famous book series. One of which is the Spine Tickler series and I Am Spooky, which is a parody of Goosebumps and R.L. Stein. And another is the Underpants Bandits, which is a reference to Captain Underpants. I'm pretty sure I'm Captain Underpants. In Wrecking Ball, it is revealed that the pig is actually lost. However, the pig can actually be found in Manny's toy pile. This would actually make sense as Manny probably hid the pig from the rest of the family in his toy pile because the family wanted to give it away. Which is why when there was a fire, he had to bring his whole toy pile out as he couldn't just run out of the house with a pig. That would be way too suspicious. Credit to user insert underscore name here for this theory. Once again, Manny pulls out one of his big brain moves. Good job, well played. Anyways, moving on. The original name of the third wheel was going to be called Odd Man Out. But apparently, according to Jeff Kinney, in the UK, a third wheel is called a Gooseberry. So he liked it better as a title. There was actually an official Wimpy Kid musical. It had over 50 scenes and 6 full songs. Unfortunately, it couldn't make it to Broadway, but at least the songs were still kind of a banger. Anyways, before Diary of Wimpy Kid was published, Jeff Kenny posted daily uploads of new pages on funbrain.com. What's interesting about this is that you can still read the original Wimpy Kid draft from years ago, which is over 1,000 pages by using the Wayback Machine. There are a bunch of never before seen pages, but it's mostly a combination of the first book, Roger Cruz, and the last straw into one book. If you want to read it, I'll put a link below, um, if it works, I guess. Alright, um, if you somehow made it to the end of the video, then I personally congratulate you for wasting your time with useless facts that you will probably never ever use in the real world. If you like what you see, please subscribe as I make literally no money from any video as my entire channel is demonetized. I also have a Twitter that you can follow, a Discord, and I also have a second channel where I talk about stuff. Oh yeah, and my stupid video on why Manny is smart got 1 million views for some reason, so thanks for that, I guess? Uh oh. Wait, no, who- who- No! No! No!